So what's going on everybody, it's JediKing98 here and today I'm going to be giving you guys an updated guide on the chalk uh, M1927 wall buy that I made a video about for Revelations here. So this is kind of an updated guide. When I put that guide out, I was among the first people to actually solve this thing and have a detailed guide on how to do it. Um, but the one thing that I was missing in my guide was actually where the piece of chalk is actually found. So I had all the quotes and everything and for you guys, but we did not have the chalk because no one knew where we picked the chalk up. I was working with several people, talking with several people, trying to figure out where this chalk was actually supposed to be at and everybody was just saying that they ran around the room on the wall and they were just holding down square and eventually they picked it up well it just so happens that it is in one central location every single time so it's in the same spot in every game that you will play and let's go ahead and go over where that is at right now so when you go ahead and get the anti-gravity on in the pyramid room and you have that up and going by standing on all four of the tiles then you can go ahead and run onto the wall and you have to get all the way to the top of this wall right here and you're gonna see that the pink chalk is just gonna be chilling right Right there on the top of that pillar in the corner so super simple to get right here it's just sitting there it's in there in every single game at the same spot and you're gonna go ahead and hold down square to pick that up and once you go ahead and pick that up now we can start moving around the quotes on the map so the chalk quotes in the map are in the wrong spots in every single location where they are and we need to move them to the correct location so we're gonna go ahead and remove the wishing wells quote right here that is on the Eisendrock wall this belongs inside of Varrock so now we need to go ahead and head over to Varrock and once we're inside of Varrock we go to the power room where the original power room in the original Varrock in World at War, uh, but it's not, there's no power switch there this time, but it is the area where the power room is, and you're going to see on the ground the Ascend from Darkness quote is sitting there on the ground, so we go ahead and swap the two out, and now we have the Ascend to Darkness and the Wishing Well Cipher, or quote, is in its right spot. So let's go ahead and take the Ascend from Darkness into Nocturne and Toten. We go in there to the Spiral Staircase, and we see Salvation Lies Above is chilling on the wall there. So we go ahead and replace the two right there. Ascend from Darkness is now in the correct spot. Now let's go over to the Salvation Lies Above place we need to go to the other staircase in Nocturne and Toten and place that right on the wall there super easy to do now there's two more that we have to do so let's go ahead and head on over to Keener to Toten we're going to go to the stage behind the teleporter and you're going to see on the wall is going to be the blood writing of the soul quote from Mob of the Dead so we're going to go ahead and remove that one right there and now we need to go take this over to Mob of the Dead and on the Mob of the Dead wall there's going to be the knowledge itself is for the taking or something like that along the lines of that so we go ahead and swap the two out we put the soul one in Mob of the Dead and now we have the knowledge one in our inventory and let's go back to Kino and place that back onto the wall in its respective spot. So we place that back on the wall, you're going to hear a chime and now you can go over to the Der Eisendrock place where we picked up the wishing well quote originally, the first chalk quote that we used and there's the M1927 on the wall right there. Now you can buy this for 1750 points, it's pretty awesome right there and this also is going to do one more thing for you. It's going to allow you to have access to the weapon storage inside of the Nocturne and Toten room and what the weapon storage basically does is allows you to put your weapons on this table and then other players can pick up your weapon and replace it with whatever they're holding so it's a good way to share weapons with your friends or you can put a third weapon there and then come back to it later and pick it up if you want it later on so really cool way to actually go ahead and share weapons with other players or store weapons there it's pretty awesome and I like it a lot now one other thing that I want to note before we end this video right here is that um, you can do these quotes in any order that you want you don't have to follow the order that I did this is just the most basic and simple order to do them all in but you can pick them up in any order just so long as all of the chalk quotes are in their respective spots and in the right locations. So um, anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this updated guide for the M1927 wall buy. Uh, if you get, if you guys did enjoy this and it did help you guys out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more Black Ops 3 Zombies content because I have more coming your way. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.